Uh, Fusion Center is kind of a consortium of, of different entities within the public safety sector. So we have, we have police resources, fire resources, uh, state and federal resources that all come together to share information and deal with issues that happen within our particular community, within our particular area of responsibility. Originally, Fusion Centers kind of started off in the country as a intel branch for the, for the police departments in order to share information. I think in recent years, they've really grown to understand the all hazards approach to adding uh, other agencies outside of the infrastructure. So ultimately, the problem that we've had year after year is how do you keep track of foot-based personnel during a large-scale event. We had a problem several years ago during one of our Fiesta parades. Uh, we had a crowd of people that were gathering around somebody who had, who had been overcome by the heat. So they were, they were unconscious on the ground. Our police officers that were near the scene thought something else was happening, so they rushed to the scene, pushed some people out of the way, and kind of made a, made a fuss when it was actually just a medical event. So they rushed in thinking it was something else like a fight and it actually caused more problems than it solved. So what we were trying to overcome was getting that situational awareness to those people in the field. That's what the technology provides. It allows you to filter out what you don't need so that that picture isn't as noisy. And everybody has a different focus. Fire's focus is more the patient care. Police focus is security. Federal agencies are looking at the investigation and the follow-up. Yet we're all looking at the same picture just through a different set of eyes. This software, this technology allows us to do that and still be on the same common operating picture. When the uh, NCAA men's basketball tournament came to San Antonio, I had just recently taken over special event planning. For me, the focus for me was being able to manage those multiple incidents where we had the, the music fest going on outside, the fan fest inside our convention center, and then the games. It was a four-day tournament that was hosted within our city, and it, it presented a variety of different security concerns. Plus, we were trying to leverage uh, the technology that Esri provides to, to manage and secure the events and also uh, keep track of all of our, our public safety personnel that were deployed throughout the events and throughout the footprints. The, the addition of the mobile apps, uh, the ArcGIS Online, the workforce app that we, that we, lo that we put on to the phones that we deployed during the event, that all worked seamlessly because we had all that Esri background. The benefit of having, having the, the workforce app on the phones was you had a map in your pocket. Not only could you see where you were because you appeared as a blue dot on the map, but you could also see where everybody, everybody else was around you, which was very beneficial. Specifically at the tournament, we had lost children, we had suspicious packages, like I said, we dealt with those. Like we had people who were trying to get in, scalp tickets. The kids was a really important one, because like we, that was huge and, and it happened really fast. Before, you know, they'd walk up to a uniform. Firemen, policemen didn't matter, and say, hey, I'm lost. When we created these network of phones and they could take a picture, they sent it to everybody. Everybody instantly knew this, this kid was lost. So when a parent went to a police officer and said, hey, my son's missing, he would go, does he look like this? And that's my kid. Okay, he's over here. And then they used the technology to say, this officer has him on this dot, I'll take you right to him. And they would take that parent right to the child. So what used to take an hour, an hour and a half of, of real worry for a parent, we're, we're cutting down you know, to minutes of just like, hey, here they are. 